Continuing on with Korf, now on page 3, is uh, thorough base simplified. So harmony, says Korf, is produced by uniting two or more sounds together, but is not complete without three. The common chord, or the trias harmonica, or in the English pronunciation of Latin, as Korf would probably have pronounced it, the trias harmonica, consists of a third, a fifth, and an eighth. So a third, a fifth, and an eighth. And may be taken in three different positions. So three, five, eight from the bass C in this case. So how does this work? We have our bass C, we take the next octave up and we count from that three for the third five for the fifth and eight for the eighth three five eight the second position we start on the fifth then the octave, and then the third in the octave above that. And the third position, we start on the octave, we count up the third and the fifth, giving us our three positions. This is called the fundamental concord. from which all other concords are derived and on which seldom any figures are marked. See page 12 for the arrangement of this chord in every key. We'll get there eventually. The fundamental concord. The fundamental discord is when the seventh is added to the common chord, the trias harmonica. So firstly, let's look at this without the discord. So we are starting on F, the octave above, count three, and that gives us three notes, and then five, one, two, three, four, five, and then the octave. And that is our trias harmonica, but we're going to make it into a discord by adding the seventh one note before the octave, of course, and there we have it. Or we count up five, eight, three, and we add the seventh. Or we count eight, three, and then five, and we add the seventh. Or eight, three, five, and we add the seventh in the octave above. This is called the fundamental discord, from which all other discords are derived. All harmonies, therefore, which cannot be subjected to the test of a fundamental bass, must be irregular. Korf then notes, this has been considered by some of the most eminent masters as the great mystery of thorough bass, and I would wish to impress particularly these two fundamental chords strongly on the mind of the young student. So I would advise that you should make these part of your daily practice. As all other chords here are mentioned, as all other chords hereafter mentioned, will be found to be only inversions or derivatives of these, and may be called supposed harmonies, borrowed either from the common chord or from the discord 
of the seventh. As all the different figures used or expressed in thorough bass may be traced back to one or the other of the above mentioned chords.